Hi everybody, I'm on my way to Denver Fan Expo dressed as Q-Bone today. It is the 4th of July and let's go check out day one. Getting to the convention was very easy because I am staying at a hotel that's literally right across the street. I didn't realize how close I actually was going to be to the convention, so it was like a five, six minute walk to the con this morning. I woke up late this morning, so when I got here, VIP hour had already started and people were already shopping and in the exhibit hall and in Artist Alley. I told myself that I wasn't going to spend any money today, but I like to buy things that represent the cosplay that I am. So I'm getting to my friend's booth, BB Create and Maintaining Mediocrity, and I found them. Good morning. I'm now hanging out in Audrey's booth, and I have a little part of the table where I get to hang out. And I right away wanted to go look at all the cosplays that are going on these are the cosplay guests and then there are like cosplay groups and organizations that set up at the convention as well here we are seeing some different props that you can take photos with i think it's really cool that booths are doing that now there um, is the 501st the star wars uh, cosplay group that's here and i will go see them when i dress up as a jawa but we gotta appreciate the droids and there is a jurassic park booth i love velociraptors this velociraptor was also at wondercon and literally crying just looking at him i just i want i want my own velociraptor so badly or be this velociraptor's friend either or i want this but i am dressed up as cubone so i need to find a cubone to buy i don't think i need another cubone plushie so i'm gonna buy some stickers look at this one this one's so cute from artistic flavors uh but i can't stay away from the plushies because the plushies are so cute and i have a little plushie corner in my gaming room so what would be better than just adding more plushies to my plushie corner what is this oh that was an Eevee dressed up. Look at how many Pokemon plushies there are. A Nintendo and a giant Cubone. Oh, look at these. Just look at these. Write in the comments that I don't need these. Okay, let's keep going and exploring and shopping. So many prints. I actually might buy a print for my bathroom. I really want to start decorating the walls in my bathroom. I feel like those are very small rooms. I can start decorating the walls in there first. Oh, Godzilla hi and maybe i'll buy a print we'll see i maybe should find out a color scheme first for my bathroom before i start buying prints because i feel like when i first started going to cons i bought prints and now i have nowhere to put these prints not because i don't have any wall space because i have plenty of wall space but because these prints that i bought don't match the aesthetic of the rooms that i have but maybe i should plan first before i buy prints but as you can see the con isn't too busy we could still move very freely and happily but there's still some people there and these are the stickers that i bought i found four cubone stickers that um were in artist alley i tried to only buy stickers in artist alley so i can meet the artists and everything there are artists in exhibitor hall like my friend maintaining mediocrity and bb create but um i like to just go see what's going on in artist alley and see what's going on there it's usually always good vibes and look at these cute little cubones there's a shiny and the regular drinking boba this one's from artistic flavors also drinking boba oh, i love it and i love the detail on this one like look how look how detailed that is love it and tomorrow i'm going to be dressed up like hatrim like this pin and be called it a day um the sun sets very late here in denver right now because it's the middle of summer and i wanted to check out this cosplay photo op area before i head head out for the day from the convention this is a cosplay red carpet maybe i'll take my tripod tomorrow and take some photos there because i didn't bring my tripod today and we love a good reminder that cosplay is not consent